This is one quarter of the squad. Oh my god. <laughs> just oh yeah. All right, gonna good mate. Gee, I don't, I actually don't even know what to say. I can't believe I've actually just done that. Do you guys want to kickstart your Foot22 team off with a bang? Head over to movefactory.com for the cheapest, most safe, and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order and get yourself some Foot coins to boost your team right now. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and we're here with another review video, back-to-back -back days, you know. I'm, I'm dedicated to this now, you know. I'm actually really enjoying doing these kind of review videos. So, as you can tell by the thumbnail, title, intro, etc., we are today reviewing the re ridiculously expensive moments Gundogan card. So if you're wondering how, so if you're wondering how ridiculously expensive this card is costing at the time of recording this video, but he's sitting at 591,000 coins on the PlayStation and even more on the Xbox apparently. Like this is ridiculous. Like, he should not be costing this much. I believe it's an 84 rated squad, 86, 87, and 88, which is absolutely just ridiculous. But anyways, that's enough of that. Let's actually take a look at the card. That's what we're here for. Then play some gameplay with them. And I'll give you my opinion, obviously, like we usually do. Let's head over to FIFA. All right, here we are with the Gundogan card. As you can see, I'm actually recording this part after the video because I completely forgot to do it before. But, you know, it was still going to involve it. So let's take a look at the card. He is sitting at 90 rating with 80 pace, 91 dribbling, 85 shooting, 78 defending, 90 passing, and 82 physical. He's got the high medium work rates with the four star four stars so are pretty solid stats but i'm gonna have to keep going back to the fact that he's about six hundred thousand coins which is just i don't even know what to say anyways like we always do let's do the top three stats on the card so my favorite three stats on the card are the 91 dribbling the 90 passing definitely and the 85 shooting i think he's got very good shooting he should be a good box-to-box -box center mid bar maybe the pace that's the only thing that's going to probably cause an issue but apart from that he should be a very good box-to-box -box or cam in a team onto the attributes he's sitting at 81 acceleration and 80 sprint speed on pace on the shooting is 90 attacking position in 86 finishing 84 shot power 86 long shots 80 volleys and 85 penalties on the passing he's sitting at 92 vision 85 crossing 86 free kick accuracy 93 short pass 91 long pass and 91 curve on the dribbling he's 90 agility 90 balance 91 reactions 93 ball control 91 dribbling and 92 composure defending he's got 84 interceptions 54 heading accuracy 82 defensive awareness 81 stand tackle and 73 slide tackle and then onto the physical he's got 70 jumping 80 85 stamina, 83 strength, and 80 aggression. So some pretty decent stats. I mean, a very good overall card. Nearly Hullet Gang, you know. He's just too off on the defending overall rating to be on Hullet Gang. And obviously, once again, we're going to do my top three attribute stats, the three that I like the most. The first one I'm going to say that definitely stands out to me first is 90 agility. I mean, good agility on a centre mid is always very nice, especially, you know, he's, he's not the tallest, so he should be able to, you know, dribble around midfielders without actually having to, you know, sprint because he's not the quickest. So hopefully the agility can pay off in game. My second favourite stat that I'm going to go with is the 91 long pass. I mean, it's always handy to have a good long pass, especially if they're deeper in the midfield, which I usually play like a 4-4-2 bracket two with good good probably be one of the dms the box to box dm obviously not being that close to the attack it's going to be good hopefully to have that long pass so you can thread some balls through from deeper in the midfield and my third and final attribute that i'm going to choose is very good if you guys are actually planning to play this card as a center attacking midfielder and that is 90 attacking positioning that's a very good attacking positioning especially for a midfield card like if you put him at cam he should be making some brilliant runs good movement you know creating space for himself and that is definitely a stat to look out for i think if we push him a bit further forward maybe i'll play him as a cam in game and see what he can do. Also, just in case you wonder what player traits he has, he's only got injury prone as an actual online trait and the rest of them are CPU against AI. Okay, so there's the card. My favorite attributes, my favorite on-card stats for the card as well. Now, it is time to get into a game. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and show you what team we're rocking him in. So it's our pretty standard team at the moment. We've got Larissa Singh Dole. We've got Damian at right back, who's the new addition. We've got Ferdinand and Jones as our centre backs. Left back is my red pick Cancelo. Then linking to him is obviously the Gundogan at left centre mid. Central centre mid, we've got Essien. Right centre mid is Ibra. Then right when we've got Figo, striker, we have got flashback Pato, and left wing is Giggs. And like I said, I play the 4 4 2 bracket 2 in game. Gundogan is going to be my left defensive midfielder. We've got Pato and Ibra up top. So that's enough of that. Let's get into the gameplay now. Then we can talk about what we think of the card after the games. All right, first opponent for Gundogan to come against. Wow. Vieira, Ronaldo, Del Piero. That's a good team. It's going to be a challenge. This is a, definitely a challenge to kick this off for Gundogan's debut. All right, let's see what he can do. Win that ball. Oh, okay, good strength, good strength. All right, good and good. Here we go on his debut, and he doesn't put it away. Uh, I don't know why I expected him to finish that. That's annoying. I should have scored there. All right, good and good. He's making a run from midfield here. Skill cancel, nice. Drill it in. Good pass. It's a very good pass. He's picked up Pato there. Can he get an assist on the ball? Oh, Pato gets an AI block. Good and good. Here we go. 
on the ball. Cuts inside. Good dribbling. Pass the error, maybe? Oh, that is really good dribbling. Good good with a shot. Shot let him down, but his dribbling felt very nice then, to be fair, actually. Good good. Drill it. What a pass. That is a very good pass. Pato with a finish. That was a very nice drill pass there from Gundogan. Very good assist. I just, I think the pace is lacking a bit. Maybe it's kind of like this, uh, you know, pulling the strings from deep or, you know, pulling the strings from a centre mid that you don't expect to run. Silky, okay. That's a beautiful through ball, to be fair. That is a very good through ball. Pato with a finish. That was an absolutely brilliant. Okay. You know what? Gundogan's pass is very good. Just don't expect to be, you know, you know burst pass players. I don't think he's got, you know, his acceleration isn't great and his sprint speed isn't great. But he's got very good passing, good dribbling as well. I'll take it. All right, game number two. Oh my God. What the teams are we facing today? Oh no, Ronaldo now. Okay. Wow. Oh no, Ronaldo versus Phil Jones. <laughs> Jesus. All right, good, good. Drill it. Good pass. Very good pass, actually. Very good pass. AI block. Got a ball roll here. Take it on the outside. Go on, good, good. Bang that. Oh, he's dragged that wide. 85, 86 finishing. Expected bear. I expected him to get on target. I can't lie. Good and good again. He's gone for the long shot and he's hit it in this time. Now that's more like it. A beautiful across uh, across body, sorry, across goal shot. Good and good. Good finish. First time finish. We like that. Good pass. And that Pato. Oh, that's beautiful. Good assist from Gundogan there and beautiful finish from Pato. All right, there we go. Two games done with Gundogan. You know what? He grew on me. I kind of figured out the way he actually plays and he definitely grew on me. Okay, so on to the summary now of this card. Oh, straight off the bat, I'm going to have to probably put this as a max because of the ridiculous price. Probably a 6.5, maybe scraping a 7 out of 10. It's quite hard to put him anything above 6.5 to 7, maybe a 7. I did kind of get a bit more used to him when I stopped trying to run through the whole of midfield. Definitely don't do that with that card. If you play around him, you know, do a little one-twos and let him, let him make his movement with that attacking positioning to go a bit further forward. He actually does feel a lot better. I mean, he's finishing. We, we could have scored a few more goals. I feel like that first chance he definitely should have put away, but his finishing was pretty good. He nearly scored a hat-trick in one of the games out of the two, so that was pretty decent. His passing was absolutely incredible. I mean, I can't, I can't complain about his passing. His short pass and his long passing very very good also his dribbling felt very silky in game his agility was very nice obviously the four star skills helps with that as well just the pace the pace was the thing that put me off the most it was still a little bit slow i mean his acceleration what 80 ex 81 sorry acceleration not the greatest in my personal opinion and kind of let the card down but overall i definitely wouldn't recommend completing this sbc just because of the ridiculous price like 600k he might become a bit cheaper but honestly he's out for like six days as well like he's not even going to be out past team of the year where you could have used fodder from like the 83 times 25 you saved or something so i'd personally steer away from completing him and put him about a six but let's say a 6.8 out of 10 there we go then that is another review video done hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please let me know in the comments below what you think also let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me improve on these videos if we do more reviews in the future but yeah guys anyways thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye